give a big warm welcome to your keeper for today. And of course, say hello to Chili and her friends at Polton's Penguin Feeding Time. Right, hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, welcome to the Penguin Pool. My name's Beth and I'm going to be feeding about them. So here at Polton's we have 19 humble penguins and these guys are found in Chile and Peru. So they're able to cope with these extreme temperatures due to the Humboldt current which runs in the Antarctic. These cold waters are rich in nutrients and full of life, supplying these guys with a variety of different prey. They will eat things like sardines, anchovies, squid, and even some crustaceans, and they can dive to around 70 meters to catch their prey. Although depths of 130 have been recorded, and these dives normally last around two minutes. So these guys have a few different swimming techniques which help them to catch their prey. The first is known as surface swimming. This is where they swim along the surface of the water with their heads above. This is a great way to keep an eye out for other seabirds, as other seabirds are a great indicator that there are shoulder fish nearby, so they can go and join in the hunt. The second type of swimming is once they've found this fish, crime that we do to these guys, which is pretty bad, is something called guano mining. So these guys like to nest in substance known as guano, which is basically a polite way of saying penguin poo. So these guys will dig down into this guano, which is nice and soft, and they'll lay their eggs down there. It's nice and safe from land predators such as turkey vultures and foxes. So these guys, so sorry, got a bit distracted by him. So guys, farmers have discovered that this guano is an excellent fertilizer and they've begun to dig it up and use it on their crops. So unfortunately these guys are then becoming vulnerable again. So they are starting to decline in the wild, unfortunately. Well that's not all doom and gloom, guys. Here at Poltons we support an organisation known as Skinistrus, which is based down in South America. They basically help to educate people on the issues that these guys face, um, as well as other conservation issues such as introducing nest sites um, and monitoring guano mining that does go on um, in any major colony sites. So thankfully it is now illegal in the major colony sites and um, we are hoping that we'll start to see an increase in these sites in the near future. I'm gonna be a